So I guess after the recent fame changes everyone has gotten to White Star. But for the people that is still stuck down there, down below in the deep blue star territory, first of all, I'm sorry for your loss, but don't be sad, this video is for you. So we got a bunch of new fame bonuses, I mean a lot of them. So what's the most time efficient ones to spend your time on? Hello there, it's me Giveaway Glef here. If you want to win 4k gold, check out the giveaway down in the description and I'll see you guys later and enjoy the video. So first of all, you want to use the most fame percent bonus equips as possible all the time. This is just a plain bonus combined with the amount on the weapon, ability, armor and rig. You would want to have an UT equipped when bosses die due to the average percent on the UTs are greater than the tiered items. Take the decently easy to get D-Blade versus Sword of the Acclaim. D-Blade has 6% fame bonus and Acclaim has 5. So always try to equip a UT weapon slash ability slash armor and ring when you kill larger bosses so you don't risk your life because you use a worse UT ring than an extra HP or UB HP for example. So tip number one. When larger bosses die, use the maximum fame bonus on your items even though you never use the UT, it's good for the percent bonus. The other tip is to run as many different dungeons as possible. You don't want to do more than one dungeon. Now that we have a lot of these different nice dungeons, dungeon bonuses, which is the following. Tunnel Rat, complete one of each Wild Shadow era dungeon. Explosive Journey, complete one of each Kabam era dungeons. Travel of the Decade, complete one of each Decca era dungeons. First Steps, complete one of each early game dungeons. King of the Mountains, complete one of each mountain dungeon. Conqueror of the Realm, complete one of each encounter dungeon. Enemy of the Court, complete one of each court dungeons. Epic Battles, complete one of each epic dungeon. Far Out, complete one of each alien dungeon. Heroes of the Realm, complete one of every standard dungeon. Seasons Beatings, complete one of each seasonal dungeon. Realm of the Mad God, complete one of every dungeon. If you want to know exactly which dungeons are in which here, I can link it down in the description because that, that would just be too many dungeons for me to go over. These bonuses are really powerful. If you do them all, that will give you a total of 43,100 fame when you die, plus extra 112.5% of your base fame when you die, which is a lot if you combine everything. These bonuses only re require one of each dungeon complete. What will take a lot of time is find all the dungeons. Some dungeons don't even drop or are available in Nexus like Battle of the Nexus. It will take some time but is well worth it. You will also get fame by completing 1, 10, 20, 40 or 100 of a specific dungeon. So this would be great for dungeons you run normally like Lost Halls, Sprite World, Abyss or Wine Cellar. Then we have bonuses like Cartographer, which requires tiles uncovered on the map. This will come by itself when you play, but you could try to find a stone road or in low or midlands and just take a speed ring and run it for some time. That's the best and most efficient way to get the Cartographer fame bonus. We also got an interesting one which is Ability Usage. So this fame bonus gives, gives you more fame if you do X amount of your abilities. Some classes like Wizard use their abilities more than Rogues for example. To grind this, you use the Christmas ornament set which gives you energized so you get more mana if you would like to farm that bonus. Or if you have a friend with a paladin with this S seal that drops from the library. But this is same as the tiles that it just comes by playing. Before we had a fame bonus that was called Mundane and it was simply if you got, you got it simply by not drinking any potions and it would grant you fame upon your death. Well, now we have the opposite. To get the fame bonus, all you have to do is to drink pots. So if you see potions on the ground, which should have the little white potion icon in the bottom right corner, you should always drink it, even though you are full on fusions or tinctures or mana or HP pots. This will not grant you as much fame as other ones, but it's the fame that you get combined, which is the main goal here. Teleporting X amount of times will also give you more fame over time. This, as well as all the others, comes with the time as you play, but if you want, you can just stay in the realm and teleport when your cooldown is low and run and use your ability to maximize the fame gain. 
Then we have monster kits. This is just a goal where you want to kill as many different minions as possible. We have 15 different categories of enemies where you get fame by killing them. The best you could get is 2500 fame by killing 25,000 of the category. Another tip is also to do Oryxes. Oryxes gives you 2 Oryx kills per 1, like 1 per 01 and 1 per 02. And if you are doing 03, if you are trying the endgame uh, specter of the game, you will get 3 Oryx kills. And this will grant you much more fame and will give you Wine Cellar completes as well as uh, Oryx Chamber and then Oryx Sanctuary. And these can be repeatable and are a lot of fame in the end when you bring it all together. So that's all the general tips that I would give to maximize your fame gain. There's also some other tips like doing events in uh, when there's fungal events for example which gives a lot of fame, Lost Halls event gives a lot of fame, doing Oryxes normally gives you fame and there's like more efficient dungeons in the game which gives fame. In the top we would have Fungal and Crystal Cavern of course, then we would have Lost Halls and Nest. Nest is very time efficient, it goes very fast to do a nest, but Fungal gives you more. I got about 11k on the first day or first 24 hours on the Fungal event on my Paladin PPE. And I started my Paladin PPE the 16th of December and by the 4th of January today I have 43,000 fame. So. After this fame update, fame gaining is much easier in endgame dungeons and just generally playing. And my death fame of my 43,000 base fame is around 112,000. So soon I'm on top 30 legends or 20, I'm not sure. And this video is not only about simply to kill your character directly after X amount of fame. This is just tips to think about. Uh, on your character's life which gives you more fame overall when you die. So now you should know some better tips to maximize your fame gain when you play Ralph. Hopefully you will get White Star or Max Your Divine Pet tomorrow with this knowledge. That's everything for me today and I'll see you guys in my next stream or video and to do that you have to follow and subscribe.